Well, uh, swimming has always helped me with MS. At first, you know, I used to say, oh, I swim every day, but then I realized, hey, man, I'm just jumping around, playing with my kids in their baby pool. But, you know, after years, I got serious about it. Swimming, water exercise, purposeful movements in the water is, is a really good way to maintain uh, ability to function in the real world, you know? I, I don't just swim, I uh, hold on to the side and lift my leg, my real weak leg, or uh, I can lean against the wall and I can bike. The buoyancy keeps my weak leg up. I'll jump up and down. I jump in the rope, you know, that's always a really good exercise because it, it can contracts and you relax your whole body muscles. Uh, what's really important about exercise is that with MS, you know, we really don't know what's going on neurologically. You know, we can see outwardly, we can feel, but I mean, and also you have the age factor. So I'm always worried about my brain. I gotta keep that brain oxygenated. So I get my cardiovascular system going up. I get my muscles working. Um, stretching, I'll do that later. But uh, water, water exercise, purposeful movements in the water is a really good approach you know i do the the walking I, uh, wall walking on land but in the pool i just do water walking and if i lose my balance well you know i can use the water to kind of um, have some balance with it it really helps it helps me regain some uh you know you have to think about neuroplasticity right the ability of the central nervous system to regain its neurological function through purposeful movement you can practice that in the pool it's really 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 helpful you know you have to believe in something i believe in neuroplasticity so i always try to do purposeful movements in the water or wherever i'm at all right george from california have a good day ciao